Genau. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. And it's funny you should call today. <laughs> Say hello. How y'all doing today? All right, I'm famished. I've been in <clears throat> cleaning and doing my pantry and stuff and all the good stuff here. Organizing. Wait for the. I was waiting for the delivery truck. They just in ETA saying they're not coming till 4:53. So I'm gonna make me a sandwich and roll, roll back to the roll back to the other side of town for a second. Hey, Lisa McCaslin. Yeah, but I'll make me a sandwich. I'm hungry. <laughs> I am hungry. Let me see. Alright. I don't, I didn't have my other um phone, so yeah. We're gonna roll with this one. We're gonna roll with this one right here. That's all we got. I need a clean towel. I need a clean towel because locks is hurt. Lops is hurt. <laughs> the little spikes. Especially uh, when you sit there trying to cut it, cut it and stuff. But yeah. Lops is hurt. Lops can eat out of that. Always get you a towel. Always get a towel. Place that guy inside. You want to crack it? Just like that. Crack, crack, crack. Get your kitchen scissors or shears. Kitchen scissors or shears. You want to cut down. Just like that. And still break it, pop it over just like this. Can y'all hear me? Yeah? Can y'all hear me? Yes? Roger, check, check, one, one, two, one, two. Can y'all hear me? Can I get some hearts up for some? Can y'all hear me? Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was a long delay. <laughs> all right, then you just want to take it. I'm going to pop this guy all the way out. I'm going to get every ounce of this meat out of here. Just like that. Get all up out of there. Ain't nothing left in there. All right, let me put this down, then I'll come back and get y'all. All right. Wash my hands. Okay. Slide y'all. I had to do a makeshift. <laughs> I had to do a makeshift. My hands fall down on me. All right. All right, I'm gonna take this lobster and I'm gonna put a fly a little bit more, just so it lays flat on my um, on my bread. I just wanna, I just butterfly it open, so now it's, Bust all the way open, just like that. It's big. There's, there's a lot of lobster. I want the fish sandwich. I was so tempted to, to go to um to go to Burger King <laughs> and get the fish sandwich. I was passing by. I said, Nah, it's it ain't a, it's not a whaler no more. Y'all know who know about the whaler? Who remember the whalers? It ain't a whaler no more. I don't want it. <laughs> My grease hot already. Matter of fact, put me a, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of fries down. I don't want that much fries. I want a little fries. I'm, I'm starving. I, 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 look, no one ever give me a smoothie. No one ever give me a smoothie. Not today. <laughs> a little fries. Cause I'm gonna work this. I'm gonna work this off anyway. So 
I'd be working all day. I'll work it off. It's all right. And I'm not going to the gym today. I don't have time for it today. I'll work tomorrow morning. But I'm still going to work this off tonight because I got to work later on tonight. So, yeah. So, I'm not worried about it. And me a little fries in here. Just a tiny bit. Mmm, a little bit more. One for, two for the money. Two for the sugar. Who wants to feel like? All right, I got a little flour in here. Add a little water. Take my lobster. Flour and water. Then it's my seafood batter. It's my seafood batter. Hey, auntie. And I, I, I seen your message about, yeah. I gotta text you. I'll text you back about your um your meal when you come. I can't wait to meet you. You and your family. I can't wait to meet you. Can't wait. All right, there you lock the tail right there. I'll flip y'all around once I put it in here. Fried lobster sandwich. I'm gonna drop that guy in there. And it don't take long at all. Hey, Rennie Taylor. Hey, what's up, Sam Houston? Uh, Donella Carter, hello. <laughs> Ship a couple to Seattle. <laughs> Alicia Anderson, uh, Althea Anderson, I'm sorry. Hello. Mm, yeah, buddy. piece of lobster. Mm -hmm. One more. I'm saying I don't like having a good time. I told y'all, don't stop me from having a good time in the kitchen. <laughs> That's done. You don't want to over fry it. Ready to, I'm just gonna do my bread on the grill real quick. Dang, can't you? 
I don't think it's a good idea for me to put it over there. All right, I think I can blow it up from here. bread a little bit. Turn that guy off because it's going to grill perfectly fine. I'm coming, y'all. Watch me bread. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. See that? I don't think I can see. Let me turn it. Let me turn the camera back around the other one. Okay, now y'all can see. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to blow it up. Ah. Okay. Let's blow it up now. I see the scarlet. One toasted good, the other didn't. It's all right. <laughs> this is my sandwich. <laughs> so don't worry about Where you going It's mine. My sandwich. It's not for customers, it's for me. I'm hungry. I ain't worried about no gloves right now. I'm not. Man, it's a smacking, I got some smacking sauce. This, this is my house sauce. That yeah, I was calling it. My smacking house sauce. Put my tomatoes at the bottom too. The bread grill better on the bottom. Give me a few slices of onions. Get down on there like that. And bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Stick a thing in it. Won't want to go nowhere. <laughs> We don't want it to go nowhere except out now.
Ain't nobody here. It's going to the dining room. I'm here all by myself. <laughs> Catch up. I mean, not let it be so gloomy in here. I'm trying to like. And let the church say, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, with it. Let me see what this thing hitting like. Let me see what it's working with. That. Wait, hold on. <laughs> you have no find out that place, you know, you're looking for that spot. That's fire. <clears throat> and yes, I was looking for that money shot. You know, that, that money bite. I was looking for that money bite. That would have called, Donella, the money bite. You know, you be sitting there sucking your sandwich like a dang old shark. And, <laughs> and the blood in the water. And that blood in the water. Come on with it. I'm mm, going to stand up and bite this thing. This is Lena. Mmm. Mmm. Good messy burger. Mm. <laughs> That's good. And it's tender too. It's tender. It's like, don't over fry it. Just over fry it. It'll be alright. Mm, 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 mm. I guess it's my dinner. I'm going to get a smoothie. I'm, I'll, I'll do it in reverse. I have a smoothie for dinner. <laughs> Ten times better than that fish sandwich I was going to get. Mm. Twenty times better. Phoebe, I'll try not to bite my finger. I'm trying to tell you. Mm, mm, mm. The Lord's my shepherd. He know what I want. <laughs> mm. This sounds so good. I'm going to tease me all like this. Sounds good. Mm. <laughs> Camilla Miller said, that's why I cut mine in half. <laughs> so you can get that perfect bite. You want that corner? You want that corner? I know she look, you look for that corner like this. Sandwich ain't good unless it's messy. This is my philosophy. With a good messy sandwich. Mm. Lobster burger. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. It's messy, y'all. <clears throat> So good. 
うんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんOn these little, so I feel the same way. Yeah, you gotta have a messy sandwich. Something that be messy, real messy. Hey, Lisa Watkins. It ain't fit. Well, it is a type of fish. It's a shellfish. It's lobster. This is lobster. I was so hungry. I was gonna stop and I was gonna stop and get a fish sandwich. No, my brain said no. <laughs> it ain't the same. That whaler is not no. It's not a whaler no more. Mm. It was an option. It's good too. Okay. <laughs> so <I'll> slow down. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna grow its fin back and go back to the back into the ocean. <laughs> I gotta chase it down. <laughs> you know it's one of those sandwiches you gotta stand up and eat? That's what it was. You gotta stand up, you gotta stand up and eat that sandwich. Mm. Yannico Brow said lobster is good meat. Mm -hmm. And that was a whole eight, that's a whole that was eight ounce lobster right there. Eight ounces. We call those granddaddy. Granddaddy tails. That's a big lobster. It looks small on, on the witch car. That's a big, that's a lot of meat. I stand back up for them. I need to stand no ovation for this sandwich. Mm. Mm So this uh, Friday, we got our bingo night again. We got bingo. <clears throat> then we got um, a baddie, so-called baddies, baddies, the young people call stuff on Friday night, baddies party. <coughs> Excuse me. And then Sunday we have, um, of course, the Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Cinco de Mayo fell on a Sunday. So, we have Cinco de Mayo. I'm not doing a soul food dinner this, um, this week. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to do the seafood rice. And, the, um, we're just going to do nachos. We're not doing tacos. We're just doing nachos. The loaded nachos, like I did last time. The loaded nachos. What I'm doing. Gonna be don't want to be so overwhelmed in that kitchen. You know how I can go with taco orders, and everybody got this specify all of the things and stuff. I right, just give a nacho call a day. <laughs> Come help me, make you hungry. I'm sorry. So no turkey wings this week. Now watch, everybody gonna want that and they ain't gonna have it. Watch, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know. It always go like that. It was like one week, so I didn't order 
uh, extra case of um, chicken wings, right? Because um, everybody didn't want chicken and waffle. So when I do chicken and waffle, you get the whole chicken wing. You get three. I'm gonna put it here by myself. I'm in by myself, huh? <laughs> they ain't clicking and clacking over there. Like, what's going on? All right, anyway. So, but um, for the wing, for the, for the chicken and waffle, you get three whole chicken wings. So, the weeks before that, I didn't sell that many of them. I didn't sell that many of them at all. Came to, came to the next brunch, everybody wanted the dang on chicken wings. I ran out. So, it's hard to gauge. It's very hard to gauge what to keep in the house. Especially, I don't only have a, a, lot of, a lot of space. I don't have enough space to just keep everything in the house at all times. So, I had to keep what I, what I mean, what I could order and stuff. So when they sell out, they just sell out. It's always a good thing, but like I said, it's always that way. The week that you don't have something, that's the week that everybody want it. And like I said, I'm not gonna have no collard greens, no macaroni and cheese, no yams, no turkey wings, no white rice, no cornbread, none of that. Everybody gonna want that. Hey, watch. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm mm mm. AC not on. I'm gonna turn it on to everybody get here. I mean, since burning the engine, I got it two hours. Mm. <clears throat> so that was my live for the day. Mm -hmm. I haven't done um, lamb chops yet, Phoebe. Not yet. Soon. Soon. <laughs> I keep getting requests for the ox sales come back first. <laughs> yeah. I keep getting uh, requests for the ox sales, so. But them prices for them got their own land on chops. Nobody ain't gonna want to. For a case of, for a case of lamb chops, it's like 700 something dollars. <laughs> I gotta make sure I get my money back. <laughs> it's seven hundred dollars for a case of um, lamb chops. It's a pretty penny. It's a lot of money. And then the prep time. I think I showed you guys how I prep my lamb chops. I don't do my lamb chops how everybody do it. They give you all that fat and all that stuff. So I take the time to actually clean down my lamb chops because that fat around it give it an off-putting taste and it's also deceiving the person but whenever you get lamb chops always consider the amount of work that goes into them whenever you go to one of those restaurants still that do sell lamb chops and you see the lamb chops cost you 45 dollars 50 dollars it's the lamb chop itself that costs and also the preparation work that goes into it so then force it has to be put back on to the customer unfortunately but you want it, you gotta worry about going to get it, and you gotta worry about cleaning it, and you gotta worry about cooking it, and you gotta worry about cleaning up after yourself. So all that is into factor whenever you, you know, going out to eat and, and see a high price or a high ticket item on a, on the menu. It's not that the person's trying to price gouge you, it's just the labor that goes into actually doing it. And that's what happens inside a restaurant. Now you have some, like when you do, like you say, you go to restaurant stuff, and like you say, go to be high end, high end restaurant stuff, and high end because of the work that goes into it. Lisa Wales said, oxtails, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all it's all lobster. <laughs> it's a piece of half a little piece of bread here. All lobster. Got down to the end, slow down. I'm getting full. But I ain't gonna let this lobster go to waste. I stop eating the fries. Mm. Um. Say, Phoebe said, "Good to know." Didn't know that. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why he taxes so much. It's not the actual. Well, it's part of. Like I said, part of it is the is the price of the of the meat for the product. But the, the rest of it, you have to pay because 
if if I go in there, you know, I have an employee, I'm paying the I'm playing employee twenty dollars an hour to do prep work or to cook with me. I'm paying not you, I'm paying twenty dollars an hour. So if the plates don't sell or if the plates sell, they have lights, gas, everything else. All that comes to fact. All that's into fact until until each plate. You have to do that. It was the other night. A restaurant would never float. A restaurant would never float. They would just give it to you at cost. It just don't, it just don't work that way. I think it's a lot of things that happen that way too. But especially a restaurant. A restaurant can't do it. A restaurant will survive at all. Mm. Hmm? I make the sandwich. Excuse me. Got food in my mouth. I make the sandwich, uh, Wendy. <laughs> I just made you gotta, you gotta go back and watch the live. I just made this. Mm. Are you about some pasta? Mm. It's the last bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all delicious. Hmm. I told you a few fries made a little bit of fries. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was good. I might even put that on the menu. <laughs> I think I might even put, the, um, put that on the menu, but for those that have not seen the inside, it's just, we've got stuff all down there, but it's the, and it's the whole bar and you know, the VIP section and all this stuff. Put some dining and all that good stuff. We, all, we, we, we can switch it out to what we, how we want it. And the DJ be up there and stuff. For those that didn't, have not seen it. Oh, all right, y'all. I'm now eyes got ditis. <laughs> I'm tired now. Eyes <laughs> be tired. Let me go um finish inside this kitchen and put everything up. I gotta come right back in here anyway. Like I said, um the delivery is ETA and at four fifty nine. Might as well say five o'clock. <laughs> ain't gonna be even, even later than that. With this traffic, this traffic is we right on the front street. <laughs> Excuse me, and this traffic be backed up way down to the next two lights. He ain't gonna get here to five thirty. <laughs> some some five o'clock. He ain't getting to five thirty. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you guys for the stars. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for the shares. Um, matter of fact, yeah, share this. That's a good sandwich. That was a very good sandwich, and it's a quick live too. Uh, see you guys later on. Love you all. Y'all have a blessed day. I see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>